just to make sure that when the terrorists pop up, they don't kill each other by popping up in the same spot and dying automatically. And <laughs> that will happen if you put it too close. Like for instance, that close. You'll have a problem there. Kill each other. <laughs> so, we'll just delete that there. We don't want them that close. So they need their space. So, once you have their space there, and those old guys, now, in some editors, if you get a more of an upgrade, you'll be able to see the character walking and all, you know, in motion. So, now what you do is you go down to here again and click Info Player Start. Now, in Gearcraft, that usually means you no know, Bond starting in a one player map, you know, in the campaign. And same with Half Life. Now, Counter Strike. Tweaked it a little bit, so now info player start, usually the main character starts out, is actually counter terrorist. The good guys. So now, well, another, yeah, whatever. I was about to say, like, terrorists can be, you know, good guys in another country, but whatever. So now we go to here, and we'll click on the MTV again. And this is on the other side, you usually want them apart, you don't want to start next to each other. Well, I guess you could, but then it'd be a massacre. You'll die quickly. Especially with bots. And you'll click here. You know, click the little guys. Stick them in. Now that we have, you know, that many people, now what we'll do is click on them. Now what I like to do is on your, you know, uh, what is that, PC or computer keyboard, you hold the control key down, usually located down in the spacebar place there. CTRL, control. Hold that down, and boom, you can click as many. Oh no! Don't want that. There we go. Now, here's a trick. Instead of clicking on, you know, this thing, the camera to move it around, use the arrow keys and just move there. And this is a neat thing. Use your mouse wheel to go forward or backwards. So you go all the way over here. Make sure we get a big view of this. And make sure you get in the middle. Now, before you click anything and ruin the whole thing of these are highlighted, hit the control button or key, hold it down, and boom, you can click these guys. Now what I'm doing this for is making sure that when you spawn and your character starts up in the level, it doesn't get stuck in the middle of the floor. <laughs> and that will happen if you don't do this. Go bring your cursor down to this side, like side or front, either one, and you see the box here? This is the whole highlight of all the objects you highlighted. And you bring it up. You don't want them in between the... um the level. And in Bond, that will cause a serious problem. It will say that bot bad spawning point. Now in Hammer, you'll just be stuck. Everyone will be stuck in the same spot and they won't be able to move. So now, make sure that the spawning points of the people... I have no idea why this is happening here, so sorry folks. I have no idea. And make sure that the whole character here is up and not through any walls or it will get stuck you will not move you'll move your cursor but not your character oh that fixed it I had the 3d on so there you go you have your characters there and stuff now what I'm about to say is that you could compile this here this huge giant level just without any lights. But I prefer to do lights. So, we'll just click uh, Entity here, and then go to down to here, Objects, then go to Light, and I like to use Light, most effective. So we'll put a little light here. Um, now mostly you could put on the ground there, might cut it's hard to um, get it back there, so let's edit, undo, entry. Okay, now, you see the four lights here, four um, windows? 
Make sure it's inside the box. Inside the box. Get that. Now, okay, before you create object, make sure it's inside the box from here too. As you can see, good, it's here. It's inside the thing. Create object. There you go. Now you can probably go to the object here, right here, and just you know click it and then copy and paste it. Or you can just, you know, do it again. Right there. And repeat the sequence again. Great. And I'll do it down here too. Just to make it a little fair. You don't want you don't want only the terrorists able to see where they're going. There we go. Now you have lights. There we go. Now, one thing I might want to do here, um, let me check this here. Yeah. Let's make this a little smaller, because I'm feeling this might be a little big here. There we go. There. There. And there. And let's bring these boys together, or men, just closer in the map so they'll get more fighting, more shooting. And there we go. Click on this. Drag these guys down here so then you can... There. Map smaller. Okay. Now what we do is we go up to File. Sorry about that. That's my chicken rooster. Mr. Feeney. Oh well, um, and save. Now, when you're saving a map, you go to, let's see here, Valhammer, Maps, and then type in your map. And we'll just do VFG. Okay. Then we'll save. Then we go back up to File. Export map. You'll be doing this a lot. Every time you um, do changes your map, you want to save, then export map. There you go. And now we have the level and everything. Now what I do is go up to file, and then run, and this will start the game. Which let's try this here. Everything looks good. Now normally you would have it all normal, which is good too. So. Click OK. Now you see here it's compiling everything. Nice compiling. Hopefully it will work. I don't know if it's too big or not. There we go. We have the counter strike here. Click. Then start. We'll find, um, let's see here, where is it? F, well I see, VG, VFG. There we go. I'll tell, start with, uh, I guess like, uh, Let's say one character. Okay. Easy, fine. Start. Now we're starting the level here. It's starting up. Here we go. Uh, CT Force is Counter Strike. My favorite. And oh boy, it is learning the map. How exciting. I hate this. There we go. Okay. There we go. And there you go, you have your level. There's the three lights and all. And as you can see, round starting. There you go, you have the big huge box here. And there went the little booger. Yeah. Comms are kind of good at shooting, so. <laughs> and by the way, this is just a demonstration. So, let's quit out, and quit, yes, and there we go, and that's the tutorial for starting out your own map, and for playable, so, that's it for now.